Hello everyone and welcome back to this let's play of Might and Magic 7 for Blood and Honor where we are playing the dark side. Well, not really yet, but we will. Hello, Rosie the Expert Healer. Um, Right now we're nothing, of course. We just got to Arafia in the last episode where we are um, gonna do what we usually do in Arafia in the beginning. We're gonna do some simple quests, we're gonna play some Aqua Mage that we forgot to do in Harmondale as well. And you know what? This time I will write down every single place I played Aqua Mage. We're not gonna have a repeat of the last. Uh, of the last uh, playthrough's problem with finding out where we hadn't played Archimage. And we gave all our horseshoes to Penny so she can still get good at disarming traps. I know she can't expert it just yet, but I think we're gonna try to do her promotion quest earlier than normal. See anything you want? Well, that depends on what you have. Mm, nope. Rotten hell, you penny pinching miser. Oh, are you talking to me? Need a new I'm the only one here. Uh, we have a long dagger here. Ooh, and a steel axe of poison. Yes, please. That has um, Thanks. Come again. Jenniki's name written all over it, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay, that's better. And then also... Boom. Much better. See, her hit chance goes up because we have pumped up her axe so much. Which goes on attack bonus. I know we'll lose double damage versus elves, but quite honestly, I don't care. Okay, so I, I said that we would use Grognard's Cutlass for a while. I apparently lied, and the thing about Need a new um, weapon. unique weapons like that, we can't sell them. I'm a simple blacksmith, and that Grognard's Cutlass is beyond my meager knowledge. Thanks. Come again. So basically nothing we can do about it, except for just throwing it out, because we don't need it. Which makes me sad. Um, because I'm so forgetful about where things are, we are gonna... Visit every single house here and see shield expert. I think that's only Emmanuel who can become that or I guess Jeniki technically can become shield expert. Yeah But I like focusing more on damage with Jeniki. Jeniki, <laughs> not the Gen Genevieve uh, I think actually we're gonna make weapons uh, with our ore And I totally regret that. That was really crappy. Pure garbage. Yep. <laughs> trash if I've ever seen Let's leave it behind. But we had the poorest version of ores anyway, so no problem. Here is the item maker, I think, and then the armor maker, or the other way around. Uh, so, no expert teachers. I know there's a sword expert around here, but to be quite honest, we have none that can become it. Oh, monks can actually become expert sword. Okay, interesting. Uh, but we're gonna stick with an arm defer anyway. The magic shop would be kind of nice. We have scholarly of a burglar, yeah. Can I help you with anything? Mm, nice boots, nice sun, nice helmets. Thanks. Who needs some more armor? <laughs> I guess you can take this one, then you get this one, and then he gets this pair, and then you get that pair. Beautiful. 28, 36, to 38, 29. Yeah. At least he looks kind of interesting. I'm not saying he looks good, I'm just saying he looks interesting. I don't care about alchemy. Uh, oh yeah, by the way, we should check out the bounty on stuff, shouldn't we? And I'm forgetting to actually take the time right now. So let's say we played for like three minutes. Yeah, bingo. Oh, perfect. It's, uh, <laughs> it's 5.30. So it's easy to keep track of. Okay, a behemoth. I wish we got that one later, because then we could just have killed the behemoth and made over half the bounty needed for Jenniki's promotion quest, but whatever. Come in, come in. Well, let's try our first game of Aqua Mage then in this uh, playthrough. Oh, good lord, I hate this. <laughs> I really, really, I know, like, I have a love-hate relationship with Aqua Mage, for sure. I sometimes love it, especially the earlier battles. They're totally fine, like right now. But watching this, I just, I, I whoops, that was the wrong one. Um, I just get nightmares from watching this now. I'm just thinking, this is eventually gonna go to hell, and it's gonna suck. And yeah, I, I, I remember now that, uh... The noises in this game are kind of loud occasionally, so I shouldn't really talk that much. But whatever. Ba ba ba. Ba da ba. 
Well, we just won anyway, so who cares? 1,200 gold? Yes, please. Let's get some promotion quests, though, even though they have nothing to do with me. Hey, I am Sir Charles Kijot, and I am a humble champion of the people, and I am at thy service. Ha! So thee wishes to take the test to be a crusader? I cannot blame thee. The sense of pride one feels when one has accomplished a heroic deed is sublime. The test is simple. A dragon must be slain, and I know just the one. Vromfrax the Heartless. He lives in a cave in Tatalia and terrorizes the peasants who live near him when he's home. He should be in the cave this time of year, though, but because this is probably thine first dragon, it's not. I will travel with thee to give thee pointers. You will not. So let us go forthwith and spill this monster's black blood. He does join us, but he gives us no pointers. All the pointers he actually gives us is... Why do we tally? Even now that monster could be laying waste to the countryside. Tally-ho! Idiot. And then Frederick Horg. So, you wish to learn to fight? Well, you found the right man. For those of you who are knights anyway, if you're not a knight, you still benefit from my teachings, but not as much. The hallmark of the Cavalier is courage. I can promote you to Cavalier status, but before I'll do that, you'll have to prove to me their bravery in battle. Since most people are yellow-bellied cowards at heart, I doubt you'll succeed. But if you want to try, here is what you must do. Destroy all the undead in the haunted ha mansion in the Barrow Downs. Yeah, that's a long way off because of the difficulty of the treasure chests in there. They're super difficult. I don't like that. Especially with this party, that's probably going to take a while before we get to that point. Do you need medical attention? Yeah, I do. I remember Thank when you. I was young, I always thought those Day of the God pedestals, ped pedestals were like super bad for you since I lost health and mana when I used him. But of course, it's because your stats increase. <laughs> I was a, not a smart child. Let's see, we have checked everything here. We can get the Aqua Mage quest then. Okay, or the Mace. Well, I guess that's only the Cleric, yeah. Emmanuel. To be declared Aqua Mage Champion, you must win a game of Aqua Mage in every tavern on, in, and under the continent of Raffia. There are 13 such taverns sponsoring Aqua Mage. Ar it's not Aqua Mage, it's Arco Mage. I have played this game since, like, 1999, when I was nine years old. And I just had my mind blown. This is... no. Really? When you have accomplished this, return to me and... Arco Mage. It's not Acro Mage, it's Arco Mage. Wow. Mind blown. Mind magic, you suck. Body magic. We aren't body magic expert yet, but we are now. That's good for healing. Trading, probably has money in it, but I don't care. Greetings, you must be the Lords of Farmandale. I am a collector of the finest historical items. Perhaps you can deliver something to me. So you are the Lords of Harmondale, huh? You don't look like much. We'll see how history judges, judges you. I myself am a historian and collector of rare historical items. Lord Markham also collects such items of interest, and there is one item in particular that would complete my collection. The Parson's Quill. The quill used in, to sign the Treaty of Pierpoint ending the First Timber War. I know you have dealt with Lord Markham before. It's how you became lords of this land, after all. And if you would like to take this letter, uh, and if you would take this letter to Lord Markham in Italia, I'm sure he would respond favorably. I would even even more in your depth if Lord Markham sends this item back with you. I would be sure to favorably record your heroic acts and deeds. I already have. I'm not even going to join the Mind Guild membership. It sucks. Body Guild, yeah, we have to, I guess. Spirit, yep. Wait, you talked about bounty hunting now. Anyone needing to earn some spare cash can visit the town hall in any major city to pick up a bounty hunting assignment. City councils are always fearful of the latest mad eating monster or bandit or mad wizard and set bounties on the creature that is bothering them the most. There's no rhyme or reason to their choices, so don't try to figure it out. They often pi pay quite well, though. Yeah, behemoth for 6,000, not that bad. Um, We are gonna go into the, to the dungeon here, though, the Arafian sewers, because even though we don't really have uh, Thief with us, we still want Let's to... Go. <laughs> we still want to get to quests. That wasn't hard. Ooh, a gemstone and a Thief. It's probably a blue quartz, then. Yeah, there we go. Sucks, but it's money, so I'll take it. Of course, this place is just as annoying as last time. Just a ton of thieves and rats around here, and then that awful little puzzle. 
I really my least favorite puzzle in this Weakling. game, I think. <laughs> Weakling! Yeah, with Day of the Gods enabled, this isn't really that much of a challenge, I'm sorry. Oh, please. Yeah, I know, Jeniki. Well, Jeniki, you have the bow of the dragon. Like, we found this bow and the dragon that we killed back on uh, Emerald Island, so... No wonder your bow kills all enemies. Come on, thieves. Ah. That wasn't hard. That wasn't hard. I'm so innocent. Jeniki, it's really hard right now. And um, if we just expert axe as well, I think that might be in amongst other places. Tatalia, she can really perhaps dis dish out some damage. Isn't expert adding to um, damage? No, that's recovery time. Master is attack damage, but she can become a master soon too. But I have no idea where master axe is like. I think during my many, many, many years of playing Might and Magic 7, like almost in the soon of the 10 years that I played Might and Magic 7, oh, I have used a Ranger a grand total of twice, I think. So, I mean, oh, I don't like them, okay? They're, they're bad. Hmm. Or they're not bad, they're just not hmm. good enough. They're not better than any other class. Every other class can outperform them, basically. I guess they're a better fighter than sorcerers and clerics, sure, or maybe not even clerics. Well, yeah, sure, because clerics use mace. Uh, they're better fighters than most mage classes, but not by a, an awful lot. They just suck. Duh. It's like a poor man's knight. I don't need no poor man's knight. Ah, what a scratch. Ew! Uh, the strange thing is, I just played Life is Strange, and the main character there is named Max. That's kind of weird. All right. Good job. Uh, well, it's basically because of you, isn't it? Simon, Simeon, the burglar, or whatever your name is. Owen, okay. This might be of use to us. Nope. All right. Nope. Emmanuel inflicts 13 points of damage and kills the enemy. Thief. Hmm. Well, we can sell it, so don't be too negative there, Maxi boy. Oh, it's so nice to have a scholar with you. You have no idea. I recommend everyone playing the, or watching this let's play get a scholar immediately. Don't waste skill points on those awful identify item skills and stuff like that. It's awful. Well, Jeniki will probably learn how to identify monsters after a while. She has... She knows it a bit so far, I and mean, she'll get better, I promise. No, we went this way. She's gonna have to get better. Oh, yeah, that was the wrong point in the song. Sorry. Who builds sewers like this anyway? How is this in any way, like with stairs and stuff? I don't know. Maybe the Master Thief was uh, pretty rich or something. Maybe he's like the ah, Batman of a rough, yeah. Wow, that trap actually damaged quite a lot. Well, we're expert at body magic now, so we can just heal up uh, for a lot of HP. Yeah, like 19 to 36, that's like 18 or something. I'm not good at math, okay. Boom. Do, 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 do. Ooh, a rogue, cool. Well, a rogue, no more. But we found a broad, broad broadsword. This might be of use to us. A polished broadsword, commonly used by all forces in Araf. Yeah, and it sucks to be quite honest with you. It really is nothing I'm looking forward to getting. Okay, and here comes the puzzle. And if you remember correctly, I have my own way of doing this. Which is basically, it was it involves jumping. Yeah, that's the wrong one. Do do. Ugh, whatever, we're just gonna try it. Maybe we'll find something on the other side that can uh, move the correct ones. I don't know. No, a certain. I thought there was a trap here. Well, never mind. We're just gonna jump down. Do do. 
Nope, can't make it. I didn't expect that either, but... Do, 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 do. Oh, we haven't been this way yet? <laughs> We're just moving down people here with no questions asked. We're all gonna go down. Oh, that was too easy. Yes, when the sorcerer defeats you in hand to hand, that's when you know it's too easy. That's it? Let's just leave it behind. Well, I can't do anything. Everything. Doo -doo. Okay, let's just move on here. <laughs> I love jumping like that. Okay, here's the trap. I see you there. Um, saw blades or whatever you're named. Uh, blades only, right? I still love the sound though, so I'm gonna take it. Hey, there's a monster f master thief over here. Ah, what a scrap. Wow, he actually did damage a bit. No item though. He can uh, once again like the, these thieves and stuff can actually steal from you, but it happens really rarely, and you'll always get the item back once you kill them. But still, a pretty fun idea to add in to this entire game. I think at least. Okay, that was obviously the wrong button. I think this should be good enough. Yeah, this is what I usually get, isn't it? Now I can jump perfectly back and forth. Wait, why did I hear people fighting? Oh, hello. Chiniki? Ew. 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 Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, uh-oh. 30 hit points and 10 in armor class. That's difficult. <laughs> oh, you're cute, Chiniki. Luckily. If you hadn't been so cute, you... You would have been laughed out of the building for being nervous about thieves, that's for sure. Okay, finally time here to visit Bill Lasker, the master thief. We shouldn't have any problems getting over to his platform now. Shouldn't have. I'm not saying we won't have, I'm saying we shouldn't have. Oh, we can just poke them down, or poke? We can just take them down with arrows. Cool. Do do do. Oh, the rat is downstairs. Okay, I was just wondering why couldn't I pick up the last dead rat? Rat. <laughs> oh, you killed a fire rat even. All right. Wow, I'm actually surprised. I didn't expect our um, hmm. disarming to go this well. It's disarmed. And here I even struggle when I have ordinary fuse with me, so... Letter from Mr. Stantley. My dear Mr. Malvik, I have not heard from you in some time. I hope this letter finds you well. You were supposed to send regular messages to us so that we would be up to date on your recruitment drive. It is important that you find the right people, uh, and Markham must be handled correctly. Then Harmondale should be ours. Once you have completed this, I am sure we can make arrangements to bring you home and have your debt cleared. Niles. This might be of use to us. Niles is such a, like, non-badass name. I don't really get, like, any evil vibes from somebody named Miles. No, Niles. Okay, red, blue, green, orange, yellow, yellow. Oh, god, let's see here. Red, orange, blue, right? Red, orange, blue, e orange, yellow, yellow. Yeah, perfect. I am Bill Lasker, and I am the Master Thief. Bill makes a sweeping gesture with one arm, taking in the whole of the sewers. I am undisputed ruler of all I survey, and I hear of everything that happens in my king night kingdom. I am at your service. Well, I killed everyone in your kingdom. How does that feel? Though the law may decide who is guilty and who is not, I decide who is called thief and who is just a criminal. Bring me that lovely vase I saw on the mantle in Lord Markham's manor, and I shall call you rogue. Whoa, you have to be promoted to a ninja to learn stealing expert for a penny. I guess, uh, yeah, monk is, like, truly the class with, like, the biggest difference, and, like, um, it, it's pretty unique. Like, uh, most other characters, like, for example, a knight, can learn the same skills at the same levels, even if it's dark or, or good. 
Like, it can Grandmaster Plate, it can Grandmaster Sword, it can Grandmaster whatever, Spear, and just be good, you know? Um, but Penny, uh, or Monks in general, like, will have more focus on good sides and dark sides. I don't remember exactly what good sides um, the light side monks can learn compared to the dark side monks, but the dark side monks can learn stealing and disarm trap, I think. While light side monks then, by just guessing, would probably learn some more magic of the self, like expert, expert uh, body, spirit, and mind, or something like that. Pretty sucky, but uh, still, it's pretty fun that they have like such big differences between uh, people of the same class. I think that's pretty unique, and I wish actually I kind of wish there was more of that, you know, in the game. Like, okay, you chose dark side, okay, then you can learn more dark side things. I mean, technically, sorcerers and clerics also have it that way, by that they can learn dark and light magic, considering what they choose. But rangers, for example, no difference between, um... Ranger Lord and a uh, Bounty Hunter. No difference. Maybe, like, a Bounty Hunter would be naturally better at being a merchant? I don't know, like, with just simple touches like that can make the game so much more charming. Uh, right now we're going to the bandits cave hey, up here in the mountains. Uh, there's a lot of raiders here, like the guards you have seen in the town uh, of Arafi like the Arafian town as guards. There's a bunch of them here as enemies, and they only go for Jeniki, I think. Uh, as humans only attack uh, elves in this game for some reason. Well, because of the wars, so it makes sense, but it can still be pretty annoying. And I just remembered we haven't uh, blessed us, have we? And I see there's two bandits here, which can... Okay, only one bandit now, but still. They can actually do some damage this early in the game. As we might see, Jeniki is... Jeniki is taking hits, and not small hits either, so you gotta be a bit careful. Uh, most... Yeah, 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 yeah. I do see you're in distress here. It's just a cut, but I need it fixed. Ow. Okay, this is a bit too many... I can't do everything. I don't know. <laughs> Uh oh. <laughs> She's failing to identify things. Ow. Well, I can't do weakling. everything. <laughs> yeah, you say weakling, Emmanuel, because they're only hitting Jenny Geek. Maybe you should show some compassion as a cleric and just heal your friend over here. Just Come on, can't you see I'm in distress here? Well, I hear you're in distress because you're making it pretty obvious. Come on, can't you see I'm in distress? It's just a cut. <laughs> but I need it fixed. I love that girl so much. Marry me! I will! Too easy. <laughs> I like how everybody else is like, oh, this is too easy, no problem at all, and Jenny Key's taking all of the hits. Uh, I don't think we're gonna bother picking up every single body here. They usually just produce uh, leather armor, and while we could do with some extra leather armor, because Max still has like a really, really crappy one, uh, I'm just gonna ignore those who fell into the river. I, I'm not gonna bother. I know, lacy, 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 but... Oh, so close. Uh, but yeah, eventually we will have to get over here to this little town that we saw, because over here there are trainers for monks, but on Grandmaster level, I think? Unarmed and in... Um, All right. Unarmed and in dodging. Uh, so we have to go there eventually, and also Master Spirit or Master Air is there as well, so we have to go there eventually, but right now I'm not gonna bother. We're gonna go to the bandit caves uh, in the last like 10 minutes of this episode. From the looks of the trash and decaying garbage on the ground outside, many generations of bandits have used this cave to hide from the law. They can hide no more. Let's go. Ow! That wasn't hard. I guess humans are racist towards elves. How sad. Well, don't worry, Jenny You have Max there right along with you. Well, he's not an elf, but hey, rogue. I like her. I liked her outfits. I like the color. I know it's weird, but yeah, at least this dungeon is like super small. But the um, the chests here are super difficult. Not looking forward to trying to open up them, but we have to. So okay, that's it for the monsters in here. Uh, peasant belt, no thank you, actually. Cure disease can come in handy. Now, wish us good luck. It's disarmed! Whoa, you actually disarmed it. I'm proud of you, or proud of you. 
Uh, a highly stylized D and P intertwined by a snake with a crown on about its head are engraved into the face of this ring. This must certainly be Daverick's ring. And it is. All right. Hmm. Well, we can hmm. okay, sell some stuff there. Hey, this is actually better than what we have. A letter. Let's see what it says. Velatir, that you never meet or hear from again. Our raids have been quite successful. Our position allows us to hit two routes, Arafia to Deja and Arafia to Harmondale. We have done as you suggested and kept our activity infrequent enough to prevent direct intervention from the Arafian forces. Also, our cave has been hidden enough that are from casual observation that it won't to be enough to locate it. Your payment is being finalized right now and will be shipped to you soon. Lariat or something. Yeah. And that's basically it. We've done... Uh, we just need to deliver that ring back to... Davin, Gavrit, Signet, whatever. Uh, <laughs> no. Davrick Palladium or something, right? Davrick Palladium. Yeah, okay. Listen to me. I know this game now. Uh, and that's basically what we're gonna do in Arafia for now. And that's also kind of a big part of Arafia. So, who am I to complain? Uh, yeah, and that's it for this episode 2. We're just gonna get back to town, and I think we're gonna go and see where the horse and carriage will take us. Uh, hopefully it's Tellurian Forest. It would be kind of cool to um, get Jeniki promoted, as she gets the easiest promotion quest in the beginning now. We could have done it already a long time ago. Um, but we gotta get to Lyrian Forest first. And then I guess... Well, Tlurian Forest and Avli will probably be an episode of itself on its whole, so yeah. Boom 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 da Okay, that was the wrong point in the song. I can't do everything. I don't know. <laughs> she sounds so Well, I can't do everything, stop pressuring me. Traveling today? Ugh, Tatalia and Bricado Desert, I actually don't want to go there, so... We probably have to go back to uh, Harmondale in order to have this make Traveling any sense, today. so let's do that. Coach leaves right away. Thank you. Then we can deliver the Signet Ring right come here. In, come in. My ring! Thank you, lords. I can now continue my business and recover my losses. And you have made the trading route safer for all of the merchants. Yeah, no problem. I guess we're friendly now. Wow, even with Owen the Burglar as our companion. Traveling today? Just making double sure here that there's no skills that we want to learn. I still don't know where expert access. I'm going to find that out. And you know what? We're actually going to expert this and then... Oh, yeah, we were supposed to learn earth magic. Well, you, you're going to level up more. Traveling today? But yeah, let's just Coach go to Lurian right Forest away. and... Uh, yeah, this is where we're going to end the episode. So, I'll see you in the next episode. I've been a Biting Gamer. Thank you for joining me. Bye-bye.